Hello, hello, hello. Welcome back to the channel. I am Chris, the old school picker. What a weekend. I finally hit my goal this weekend. 23 orders going out. Stay tuned. I'll show you all my orders and tell you all about it. All right. Welcome back to the channel, guys. I hit the listing hard last week especially towards the end of the week friday i listed 35 items for 860 saturday 44 for 931 and then sunday 8 for 245 so great great week of sales um just coming off that uh huge barbie buy and also the gi joe masters of the universe buy i've not even started the masters of the universe or gi joe stuff and i've got maybe a third of the barbies listed that was a lot of those big numbers there um so still got all the barbies up in the loft not even touched those yet but all these over here i've got listed so that's good i still have this in the floor but i will get to it uh, i'm going to list a little bit today but we've got 23 orders going out for over, I think it's like 768, somewhere in there. So I finally hit my goal for the weekend, which is always 750 for the weekend. Finally hit that. So that was good. I was happy with it. But we've got a ton of orders going out and some really, really good ones too, including a ton of stamping up stuff. I think I've got one Barbie going out. I don't know. It was a good weekend. I was happy with it. Uh, today is Monday. I've already sold quite a bit today, so that's good as well. So I'm happy with how the business is going. I'm happy with how YouTube's going. Yesterday, at the time of filming this, the Barbie video just dropped. It done pretty good. I'm still hoping it takes off a little bit more, but the time of watching this for you guys, the G.I. Joe He-Man's yard sale just dropped so if you haven't watched that go back and watch it if you have watched it go back and watch it again share it i think it has a chance to do pretty good so i don't know i'd like to see it be my best video ever i've got one video that's got over six thousand views so i would love to see that video pass that now it may not it may get 500 views but to me, that would be a shame because it was an epic, epic score of 80s vintage toys. So I've got hopes that it'll do good, but we'll see. You guys will probably already know how good it did by the time you watch this. So anyways, yeah, 23 orders going out for $768. So I'm happy with that number, but we're going to go ahead and get to pulling because I have so much to pull. All right, gonna start with some stamping up stuff. Kathy messaged me, actually she commented, and she wanted me to remind you guys that these stamping up sets, cause I've had a lot of people comment saying, you know, I'm gonna keep my eyes out for them, gonna buy them to resell, this and that. Be careful with them because it is my understanding that you can only resell the retired ones. And Kathy made sure before she sent all these to me that they were all retired. So make sure when you find, if you do find them, make sure that they are retired and that you can sell them. But I want you to get in trouble on your eBay account for selling something you shouldn't be selling. So just make sure. Anyways, the first three going out is Lot of Leaves stamp set. This one sold for $31.99 plus shipping. The next one is Butterfly Gala. This one sold for $34.99 plus shipping. And then Hey Chick, this one sold for $19.99 plus shipping. I think I got three or four more of those going out today, but we'll pull some other stuff first. All right, got one of my video games going out. This These video games actually came from the same place I bought the Barbies. But before I bought the Barbies, I made this deal. If I knew I was going to buy the Barbies, I probably would have um, bundled it all up and made one big deal. But I think I still done okay. A lot of people commented that I thought they thought I had done good on the Barbies. 
and I think I did. I think I only had like one or two comments that that people thought I didn't do good, but I think I done really good. I know I've listed around, I've actually listed around 40 of them, which would be about two thirds of them and for over $900. So I should, it, I think I'm at the end of that video, I estimated around 1500 to $2,000. I think I'm going to be right on the money on that. It's going to be somewhere in there. Probably closer to the 15 than the 2000 But still, I just paid 475 for them. So if I can sell them for anything over $1,500, bucks, i done okay with it. Anyways, this video game it came in a bundle deal of nine video games. I, I knew this one was good. I wasn't sure about a couple of them. A couple of them ended up not being great. But all in all, that bundle was good money i paid 30 dollars for nine video games this one is fatal frame 2 if you see horror uh playstation 2 games or any any video games and they're horror related they're probably pretty good i had never sold this game before but when i seen it i was like that's gonna be a good game i didn't know how good i listed it i think for 69.99 which was a little high. It, it's not the original case. Anyways, I took a best offer on it for $55 plus shipping. So anything else I sell on those that video game lot is profit. And I had two other games that were really good. So good deal. All right, F3. Glad to get this sale because, and it's not football pants. But it's this DVD VCR. Combo. I think this one is a recorder. I believe. And this one ended up being pretty good as well. I picked this one up. At a yard sale a few weeks ago. And it's a pretty decent one. It's the Sony. If I see Sony. I'm probably taking a chance on it. It's Sony SLV D350P. So if you want to look that up, that's a good one though. Uh, I paid $15 for it, but it had the remote. Anytime I see combos or VCRs or whatever, and they have the remote, I'll pay 10 or 15 bucks for them because more than likely you can get that out of the remote. But I tested this one out. It worked perfect. So that was good. It sold for $79.99 plus shipping. Paid 15 bucks for it. All right, next order I have going out is another one of the Stamping Up sets. This one is the Thin Lit Dies for the Big Shot Machine. This one is Eastern Medallion Thin Lits. Anyways, $19.99 plus shipping. Thank you, Kathy. Alright, the first of the Barbies is going out. And this one's actually a Disney princess. So, she's made by Mattel though. And this one is a Jasmine from Aladdin. It was funny because the one, if you go back and watch that yard sale, the ones on the left in the cabinet. I thought they would be the cheaper ones. Turns out they were the better ones. And he had them marked at $10 a piece. I probably should have just bought those. Anyways, I bought them all. I'm very very happy with the deal and this one the first one i've sold 39.99 plus shipping i had around seven bucks in them all right two more stamping up sets i promise you i got a lot more other stuff going out it's just all these stamping up sets are right here together and this one is let's see here little treats i believe and then I'll go ahead and pull this other one while I'm back here. Uh, what is it? The thing's all mirror. It's mirror cats. That's funny. But two more stamping up sets going out. So thank you, Kathy, once again. The first one is Little Treats. And it is the stamp set with the dies. Good, good, good. Anytime you can pair them up, they're really, really good. This one sold for $59.99 plus shipping. And the Gangs All Mirror, which is just the rubber stamp set, it sold for $14.99 plus shipping. Alright, 
right, next order going out. I'm glad to get this sale because I'm always glad to sell these guys. It's a triangle heated hairbrush. And been these sale, I don't know. I, this is the first one I've sold in maybe a week or so, but then usually I'll not sell one for a couple weeks and then I'll sell like three or four in one week. But anyways, they're all paid for now at this point. I paid $3.50 for over a hundred of them. And this one sold for $34.99 plus shipping. It is the turquoise. Good deal. All right, got a graphic novel going out. It should be an F2 here. And uh, I like selling graphic novels. Uh, I usually do pretty decent with them. It's all about the buy-in on these things because a lot of them are not worth a whole lot. This one is Peter and Max, a fables novel, and it's it's more like a book almost. Yeah, it is like a book. It has very few pictures in it. And speaking of books, right now I have I have two cases opened against me right now for missing media mail, but I have like three or four more that are missing in action. I talked to my local post office because the only scan these items have on them and they've been shipped out different days was received at my local post office. Nothing since then and some of them have been 10 to 12 days. I talked to my local post office and they said, you know, just file a missing re mail report and I'm like, yeah, okay, I get that. But, um, you know, this is my business we're talking about. He's like, I promise you they're not here more than likely they're in nashville or atlanta and uh, he said both distribution centers are having major 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 short work shortages of course i know that i understand that most of you guys know and understand that but when the customer orders a book and it's supposed to be there in seven days and 12 days later it's not even moved i can understand them being upset as well but the bad part is, if it don't show up in the next few days, it's going to follow me and I'm going to have to refund all this money. So, and yeah, it's media mail. Most of it's cheap, but I know one of them is the, I sold it a few weeks ago, the Blazer Auto Manual. I mean, that's a $20 book. I really don't want to refund that, <laughs> especially knowing eventually that book's going to show up eventually. It's either going to show up to him or back to me, but more than likely it'll show up back to him but so i don't want to refund the money and then lose the book too so but uh, get it together usps i know y'all are work shortage i know i get it i understand but it's killing i wonder if anybody is anybody else having trouble with media mail right now because i've got like five missing and two very very not happy customers right now Anyways, I'm going to ship this one out media mail because it's a $4.99 book and that's about what it's worth. So cross my fingers and hope for the best, right? Peter Max Fables, $4.99 plus shipping. Let me know in the comments if you're having trouble with mail right now. Uh, man, it's, it's not good right now. And I have another stamping upset going out. Imagine that. Thank you again, Kathy. All for baby. And this one's actually a really, really good one. It's just the photopolymer stamp set. But this one sold for $49.99 plus shipping. Alright, got a golf club going out, so happy about that. Uh, USPS, speaking of USPS, you're missing out on some more money. But this one is a good one. I bought this... I bought this in a bag of golf clubs at an estate sale. I paid $85 for the clubs, for the whole clubs, but it had one of these sets in it. I can't remember. It had one of these two sets in it, and I have them both listed for around 200 bucks. So I paid $85 for the whole bag, but as I said, one of those two sets was in it, but I also seen this. This is an Odyssey putter. I knew it would sell. I knew it would sell quick, and I knew it would sell for pretty decent money. I actually listed mine just a little cheaper because I've got so many golf clubs right now. I'd like to sell a few of them. 
So I listed this one like five bucks cheaper than probably, maybe even 10 cheaper than what I could have got it, sold it for. Anyways, it's still sold for $49.99 plus shipping. So keep your eyes out for Odyssey putters. This one is the white hot Odyssey number five center shafted putter. Good deal. There was actually a couple of more other golf clubs in that bag that I've not listed yet. I don't know if they'll even be worth listing, but I'm going to see. I think they will be. But anyways, I've got $250 of that stuff listed on two listings. I paid $85 for the bag. So it's going to be a good deal. I've uh, had these for a while. I've been waiting on these guys to sell. But this was part of my video game death pile that I listed this past winter. And they are all memory cards for the Nintendo GameCube. It's a lot of three Nintendo GameCube memory cards. And um, I don't know. One of them's a Mag Cat. One of them is Nico, I guess is how you say it. And then this one is a Joy Tech. So just three different ones. I had them laying around. I logged them up together because they're not worth a ton by themselves. But for that lot, I got $19.99 plus shipping. All right, next item I have going out. Glad to get this guy sold because it was kind of, it's kind of been in the way. I had it listed for, and I can't remember what I paid for it, but of course it is Sony as well. It, I did test it. It did work fine. It does have the power cord. I want to say I paid like 10 bucks for it, which looking back at it now was way too much i may have just paid five for i wouldn't have paid more than ten i know that i'm too cheap right anyways it is a sony trying to find the model number cfsw301 and it is just a little boom box radio stereo dual cassette pretty good i had it listed for 29.99 plus shipping I sent a best offer to get rid of it for $19.99 plus shipping. Glad to get it out of the way. They're actually still working on the house across from me. They're building a new house. So I don't know if you can hear that or not. But if you can hear the beep, beep, beep. That's that construction over there. They're almost done with it. All right. Soda music book. Yay. I like mixing these uh, cheaper sales in with, um, with some good ones. C21. I think it's that one. Mel Bay's Deluxe Encyclopedia of Guitar Chords. It is that one. So, yay, good. Glad about that. And paid a quarter for it. I pick these up all the time at thrift stores for a quarter. Usually I won't pay more than a quarter. You know, they're 50 cents. So it's too much, right? Anyways, this one sold for $7.99 plus shipping. Easy to list, easy to ship. All right, guess what I'm going after here. Anybody want to guess? You got it. More stamping up stuff. Seasonal layers is what I'm looking for. There it is. Seasonal layers for stamping up Big Shot Sizzik machine. And once again, this one is a pretty decent one. $24.99 plus shipping all right next item i have going out and get ready to really load these tubs up because this is where all my action figures are gonna go i'm gonna bag them up and put them in here it takes a little while to find them but it's the best way to store it in my opinion anyways this one is a johnny west accessory i only have one left in that bag so that bag's about gone it's most of this stuff in here I've had listed for a while but I still sell it from time to time just like I did this one and this one is a little turquoise vest it goes to an Indian girl I believe or maybe even an Indian woman not sure but it's part of the Johnny West stuff and this one sold for $6.99 plus shipping right, so did another video game so I'm glad about that because I need a couple of easy shippers today to make up for some of these other ones and Jack and Daxter. I believe it's that one. I think that's the only Jack and Daxter I've got. Those games are good. If you see those games out, pick them up. Half-Life. I've sold that game before, but I actually bought two of them.
for whatever reason they had two of them i don't know anyways jack and daxter uh video game this one's actually okay this was one of the cheaper ones i picked up i picked this up once again this past weekend and this one sold for $8.99 plus shipping next item going out is a black and decker alligator six inch replacement saw chain it goes on a little it's a black and decker gator i found it at a thrift store it was brand new sealed the package is horribly yellowed but it was a dollar i scanned it real quick and well it's pretty decent for a dollar it's over 19.99 plus shipping all right this video is going to be extremely long my apologies but that's what happens when you have a great weekend of sales right once again another standing up stuff garden gateway is what i'm looking for yep and this one is the stamping cutting embossed dies and once again this is a pretty good one so thank you kathy for all all of these these are really good and i uh, took a best offer on this one for 28.49 plus shipping all right next one going out i'm happy about but scared to death about too because it's media mail uh I've had these things forever. John and Kate plus eight. It's season one and two, three and four. I just bundled them all up. I think these were Shannon's actually. Uh, we we watched this show a lot when the, uh, how many ever it is, six kids was all born at the same time. When they were real little, it was a good show, but man, these people let Hollywood ruin their lives. Anyways, I, she I told her that these sewed the other day. I was like, I can't believe it. The John and Kate plus eight dvds just sold i had them listed on the media vault page forever when i closed that page down i was like ah, i guess i'll relist them i almost didn't but she said something about they were in the news again i don't know anyways uh these three sold for 9.99 plus media mail shipping so to my customer they'll probably arrive in a month or so I'm really trying to have patience with the post office because I know they're understaffed, just like a lot of restaurants and type of stuff. You know, I try to have patience because the ones working there, it's not their fault. They're doing all they can do, right? But man, when it starts affecting your business like that, oh, it's tough. So I hope they get it together. And the last order going out is a stamping upset. And I done forgot what box it was in but i think it was this one it's that one and this one is once again the clean stamp set along with the cut and embossed dies i made a lot out of them and this one once again it's really really good 45.99 plus shipping so thank you so much kathy sold a bunch of them this weekend all right so that's my orders going out for the weekend yay good good weekend I, like i said in the intro i met my goal of over 750 dollars for the weekend so happy happy about that of course a lot of stamping up stuff so kathy i owe you <laughs> i owe you that's all i'm gonna say dvd recorder the playstation game was really good the graphic novel the doll glad about that hopefully those will start selling brush another game some odd and ends the golf club was really good glad to get rid of that so some really really good sales uh shannon's gonna make a special appearance in this video so stay tuned for that all right so with all the shipping i've got to do today i'm gonna get to shipping but guess who's gonna print labels for me it's shannon hey guys i'm going through all this stuff as he's boxing it up and getting it ready to ship and then i print labels and kathy girl you went overboard we've got tons of stamping up stuff to ship out today so thank you you're so sweet i would love to meet you so there you go kathy a personal invite to tennessee <laughs> but anyways thank you guys so very much for watching i appreciate it um epic epic weekend great weekend i hope to keep the momentum going that's just going to take keep listing going so let me know in 
down below if you're having a problem with media mail. Also, let me know how your sales were this weekend. Appreciate you guys watching Old School Picker out. Bye-bye. Bye, guys.